What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today, I am going to show you how to make this insane sci-fi shooter in literally a couple of minutes. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we will need is an insane sci-fi environment like the one that you're seeing here, because obviously the environment takes a big role in this game. So, if you want to go ahead and check out this exact same one that I have opened right now, which looks insane you can also download it because it is included in the brand new unreal engine black friday bundle from lirtis studios lirtis creates super high quality unreal engine environments for the marketplace and they just released a special limited time black friday bundle you can grab more than 47 packs worth six thousand three hundred and eighty seven dollars for only 39 dollars using my affiliate link and coupon code bf60 to get an insane black friday discount so the link is in the description just in case you want to grab this environment and other 46 other environments perfect so now that we actually have the environment it is time to add some gameplay functionality and for this i'm going to be using the visual sandbox free asset from fab which is amazing because it already includes an inventory system third person movement some guns and some enemy AIs. So what we're going to do over here is just import it into my project, go to world settings and then on game mode override, just select the third person game mode, which is essentially the visual sandbox one. And now if I go, let's say over here, right click and press play, I can go ahead and open it up with the player character and start to move around. But obviously, first of all, we need some guns to be able to pick up right because otherwise well you know we are not going to be able to shoot anyone so in the visual sandbox folder as you can see we got a couple of things so let's open up the blueprints folder and then we're going to go into the pickups then as you can see we have like for example items and we have the actual spawners we also have crafting components and we also have ammo there's a bunch a bunch of stuff so you can really add anything that you see over here but what we're going to do is just go over here and search for a actual weapon so in this case i can search for weapon and we got a couple of them and let me maybe drag the assault rifle you know i kind of like this one over here so i can press play i can go and pick up the assault rifle with the e key and then with q i open this up and then I can click on equip. There we go, Q. Yep. I got this enabled. I can shoot and things like that. But obviously we need some player AIs, right? Some enemy AIs. Because otherwise, this will be a bit uh, boring. So first things first, I don't think that we have a player start on the level. So let's add this spawning point. And I think this one is actually pretty neat. So let me go up into the quickly add to the project. Oh, and then over here, search for player start. So literally you stop. Uh, typing drag it in over here and here it is perfect so when you start the game you'll pick up the rifle but then let's go like you know I don't know like over here and start to add the enemy AIs so we can just probably go into blueprints and we got uh, characters but we also have the AIs over here so we have the shooter controller with the behavioral tree so you can play around with that we have the other controllers and then the common class with again more behavior trees. So it's really up to you. But anyway, the one that we want is gonna be the guard. That was actually the enemy AI. So let's drag this in, drag this in. And I don't know if we have to add them a weapon. I think that they're pretty good like this. But obviously when we, you know, press play, for example, I simulate, you see that nothing will happen. They just stand over there with their uh, pistols. That is because we need to add a very important thing to allow AIs to move around with Unreal Engine, which is the Nav Mesh Balance Volume. So when they quickly add to the project, go to the Volumes and just drag the first one, which is Nav Mesh Balance. Perfect, and then just click the lock and make this very, very big, like 100 in all the axes, so X, Y, and Z. So it fills up pretty much the whole level. And then we can just press P on our keyboard and you can see all the areas that our AIs can go, which is perfect. So let's add some more guards. We can add more like maybe um, I don't know. The thing is, I don't really know how big this level is, but it seems pretty big. Okay, something like that. Perfect. And obviously, you can always open up the guards and 
edit them and all that stuff. Okay. Let me run, let me run. Okay, let me make this a bit bigger. Okay. So, this AIs can shoot from very far away, so we have to be careful with them. So, let's quickly equip the rifle. Okay, perfect. And you can see now they move around when I shoot them because they actually have the AI bounce volume. So, let me try to see if I can get rid of them. There we go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. And now, okay, I killed both of them. As you can see, we have the pistols, and obviously, we can now use also the pistols, right? And reload and all that stuff. So we got a gameplay look um, going on, right? It looks pretty, pretty cool. But obviously, you know, definitely there's an improvement to be done a bit on the enemy spawning and all that stuff. So one thing that uh, let's do is just make sure that the enemy AIs are a bit more far away and initially not looking directly into the player. And on top of that, I'm going to be adding more enemy AIs maybe around here, right? Just in case you go to the other level. Um, actually, that's here. Yeah, maybe he, they, they're going to kill you uh, super fast. But anyway, um, but yeah, we have some new enemy AIs. But now, obviously, we need to replace the default mannequin because obviously it doesn't look very, very good, right? We need to add like a sci-fi character. All right, so for the characters, we are going to be using the sci-fi character pack which is really cool. And let's simply just import it as free on fab. So once you have actually imported it into your Unreal project, we can see over here, sci-fi character pack. We have a sci-fi warrior, a soldier, and a go. In this case, let's use the warrior because it looks pretty cool. It has a sort of armor and it looks convenient for our game, but obviously you can use whatever character you want. So over here, what we have to do is a real-time retargeter. This will basically copy the animations of our mannequin when we play their game and paste them into our warrior so that we can actually copy the animations and we don't have to create a whole new animation blueprint for him. So simply go ahead and open up the visual sandbox and then find the animations folder. So we can just type animations. We have a bunch of stuff here and literally just find any animation. Literally doesn't matter. Like for example, this one aiming up. It doesn't matter, it just has to be an animation from the mannequin. Go up here into the retarget options, and then on the target, let's search for our mesh, which is the warrior. And then click on export retarget as. This exports basically the configuration that copies one bone into another. So then what we can do is just a new folder, and do this the retargeter. Retargeter, perfect, I spelled correctly. <laughs> and then just export. Close this and we're good. All right, now just right click and create a new animation blueprint. And then select our warrior, which actually the warrior is not a mesh itself, right? We're using a skeleton for that. So let me find which one we want. As you can see, yes, here we go. The warrior is gonna be this UE4 mannequin skeleton. Make sure that when you hover, you see that the path is sci-fi warrior. Okay, so just create and then do ABP underscore and then warrior and just open this up. And basically over here, it's going to be very simple. Just drag and do a retarget post from mesh. And over here on the IK retargeter, you select the one that we just created, which is auto generated. Compile, save and close. And we had to do this because obviously the skeletons are not compatible because this uses a Unreal Engine 4 skeleton and our game uses an Unreal Engine 5 skeleton. All right, so now to find the player, just go to the wall settings, expand the selected game mode, and on the default pawn class, click this icon over here to search it up, open it up, and then what we can do is very simple. Simply go to the viewport, select our mesh, and add a new skeleton mesh. And this will be a child, so it'll be under. And this will be our warrior, okay? So then on our warrior skeleton mesh, we can actually set the warrior character. And then on the anemic class, we can set also the warrior animation blueprint. As you can see now, it's actually copying and pasting the animations. So now we can go into the actual mannequin, which is the mesh, search for visibility and disable the visibility. But I also make sure to set this drop down to be tick pose and refresh bone so that when it's hidden, it will also animate the animations. All right, so now we press play and we have the sci-fi character. 
we just need to do exactly the same with the enemy AIs. So very simple, let's simply just copy this warrior component and just find the enemy AIs on the level, click it and then Ctrl E to open it up. It's a nice shortcut. Then go to the viewport, select our mannequin mesh and press Ctrl V and drag it inside so it's a child. And then make sure that you click this two resets so it's centered. And then just go to the mesh, go to the details, search for visibility and exactly the same. So use disable visibility and the drop down to also refresh bones. And that's it. Now we also have enemy AIs with this uh, really cool mesh over here, which is insane. Now I believe that we do have some more materials uh, for, yeah, we do. Okay, so you can obviously play around. I think that the red will be pretty cool uh, for the enemy AI. Like, basically makes sense or actually actually the the yellow one looks good so let's select the d and you just put it on to the head which is this one perfect then the limbs will go to limbs and then the torso will go to torso okay and now we can differentiate the enemy ais from the actual player which i think that is pretty important and maybe you can even do this for the player if you guys wanted to find another one but yeah, that's uh, basically a bit up to you. Um, actually, I think I like also the yellow one for the player, if I'm being honest. <laughs> so I'm going to actually set the player to have also this one, okay? There we go. Perfect. And perfect. And that's it. We already have this beautiful game where I can just press play. We can pick up this weapon over here. Uh, let me also hide the controls and they're already shooting me gotta be careful just equip this real quick oh my god I'm like oh they're also shooting me from here oh that's why oh i didn't have any bullets yep <laughs> yep as you can see we have a, a full game already running <laughs> So that's it guys, if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe and make sure to check out the Black Friday bundle where you can get environments like this and other 46 environments because it is insane, it is limited time, so go quick before the offer ends. And now yes, with all I said, bye bye.